Meet Jamie Yarmouth. It's early June and the junior at Northwestern University is still studying for finals. Northwestern is one of the few schools still left on the quarter system. And despite the faster pace and later end, Yarmouth says she likes the schedule. I think it forces me to keep up with my work and take responsibility for my own learning. So um, I think it's actually probably a good thing that things move so quickly. It's June 1st and at many colleges, students would be out on summer vacation or starting internships. But here at Northwestern University, students are still swarming into the library studying for finals. While Yarmouth is not alone in her affection for the university's quarter system, some, like Emily Lichtenberg, thinks it adds undue stress to their lives. I usually have three finals every quarter. Sitting down and studying that hard three times a year, I definitely think is really stressful and puts a lot of pressure on you. Emma Gordon, the incoming director of Student Listening Service NU Listens, says the faster pace of the quarter system makes it harder for students to get the help they need. I think that people don't want to be told when they're stressed, this is how to not be stressed because it's too late at that point. People need to be taught these habits when they're not as stressed, but in the quarter system, pretty much always kind of in the grind. Whether it's due to student stress or other factors, the number of schools on the quarter system is dwindling. In fall 2011, fewer than 15% of colleges and universities used the calendar. The percentage of schools on semesters increased 8% from 1990 to 2001. Still, shorter terms means the opportunity for more classes. And for Yarmouth, that's a plus. I knew from the get-go I wanted to do two majors and two certificates, and so I actually wanted to take as many classes as I could. Reporting from University Library, Ethan Cohen, Northwestern News Report.